just minutes ago, charges filed against the man accused of starting a fire and then holding up in his home during a nine hour standoff. Investigators were back on the scene today. Police eventually taking 50 year old Darian Mickelson into custody without incident Sunday night. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey was on the scene during the standoff. He's live in Independence with more about the suspect. Yeah, that's right, guys. For the first time since this standoff in Independence, we are seeing the site of this standoff up close. I'll step out of the way so you can see all the damage that was done during this standoff. Also, in just the last hour, information on the suspect was released. The suspect has been identified as Darian Mickelson. You're looking at his mugshot right now. This evening, documents are out detailing what happened during the standoff and the charges against the suspect. Today, there are broken windows, damaged doors, and shattered glass after a nine hour standoff. We were trapped at a friend's house across the street. We were listening from the backyard. We heard a bunch of commotion. We heard some yelling from the suspect. Amber Walters is a neighbor of Mickelson. She watched the standoff firsthand. He did come out once and then he went back in and then they ended up getting him to come back out. They were offering him food, cigarettes, anything to come out. Walters says she did not know Mickelson, but she describes how he looked at the end of the standoff. Kind of a big belly, big round belly, white male, I don't know, older. In documents released this evening, police say after they responded to a backyard shed fire, which was intentionally set, Darian Mickelson threatened police and said there was a firebomb inside his house. He barricaded himself inside the home, and during the standoff, he pointed a rifle at police and threatened to shoot. Neighbors are shocked at the findings, saying Mickelson often kept to himself. The guy was pretty secluded. He, um, uh, I know he had some caretakers that come in there. Neighbor Jim Myers says many people came and went from the house, which stood out in this quiet neighborhood. I mean, there was curiosity. My wife, you know, would ask me, and I would I'd say, "There's got to be something going on over there." Neighbors are now happy the police are gone and the long standoff is over. Very glad, and I don't want to see him come. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't want to see him come home either. <laughs> Mickelson is now behind bars facing charges for having an explosive weapon and for assault on a police officer. That stems from the, uh, the threats that he made to police officers to shoot at them. In total, he faces more than five years behind bars. Reporting live in Independence, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.